Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's talk about Blaster's new boy, Ransford Yebua Konizdofa. Yes, some of you heard news about him that he said he has um, regretted playing for the Black Stars of Ghana, of which I came here to tell you that there is no truth in that. Now, the player has had an interview. What did he say on his Black Stars debut and everything that happened in Black Stars camp? We are going to check it here on this channel. Then afterwards, we will talk about three scouts that have been added to the Black Stars of Ghana technical team going into Qatar 2022. There are a lot of scouts that are going to be added, so just be expecting them. Some will not be announced in the public domain, and you have to understand the current game, how it works. So, let's talk about all this here on this channel. Ransfor Yeboah did not say that he has regretted switching nationality. Let's get that one right. Thank you. So, let's begin. Before then, kindly like the video. After that, you subscribe. You put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. So, Ransfor Yeboah Kwan is over is a boy who switched nationality from germany to play for the ghana black stars team and he had some minutes against nicaragua all of us agrees that um he did not get the playing time that he wanted um coach otuado did not make the right substitutions i would say and the boy will definitely not be happy together with some other players even stefan ambrosius did not get minutes at all but after he returned to germany there were some rumors that the player has said that he is considering his nationality switch to join Ghana. Maybe he is going to be out. It is never true. Let's read the interview that he had with the bad newspaper in Germany. This is an official one that the player, an interview the player had after playing for the Black Stars of Ghana. So, Ransford Eboa, who plays for Hamburger SV, has scored a super goal after returning from the international break and proud to their next game, the 21 year old had this interview according to him he was asked on his blasters debut and going to Qatar 2022 walk up his chances whether he's looking forward to join the ghana team or otherwise this is what he had to say um i see my chance i will continue to step up the gas at um that's hamburger sv and hope that i'll be there that's what he told the bad newspaper so according to him he said he sees his chance in the um, blasters team and he will continue to work hard at Hamega SV and look forward to join the Blasters team in Qatar. He continued to say, um, there was a lot of dancing and singing. There is also singing on the bus before the game. So according to him, he had a lot of experience with the team and he danced, he sings a lot when he was with the Blasters of Ghana's team. And those are some of the memories that he can talk about. He said he was happy joining the Ghana team and he is looking forward that he will do well to get onto the Black Stars of Ghana's team in Qatar. He did not say anything concerning um, changing his mind to represent Germany or any other news that you are hearing out there. So let's now move on to the Black Stars um, technical team. We all know their performance hasn't been up there after the Ghana versus Nigeria. We can all attest to that fact. Now, um, in addition to that, assistant coach of the Black Stars, Masu Didi Dramani has confirmed the three performance analysts will join the Black Stars technical team to scout for the upcoming FIFA World Cup in Qatar. The three are Abbas AJ Grant. Yes, Abbas AJ Grant. He works in Ghana here. I don't want to be revealing things about him. But one of the best academies in Ghana, he works with them. Then our Salifu. Our Salifu is experienced. He has worked with the Black Stars of Ghana's team already. So um, if you have been following, you know him. The 2021 Afcon, he was part. 2022, he joined them in January, and Abbas Salifu is also part. Then a third person is um that is Jose Martinez Afonso. He is from Spain. He is also going to be part. So we have three: Abbas J Grant, Awa Salifu, and Jose Martinez Afonso. So according to the Blasters assistant coach Maso Dede Dramani, he said this. He said things have changed these days. We are using a tactical scouting process. That's what he told Graphics Sports. He added that all our three performance analysts are working as scouts and are responsible for the various teams we will play against. They are, they are to bring along data and visual evidence and different playing class and also provide possible suggestions to play which will influence our planning and preparation. That is what he pointed out. So, according to the Blaster assistant coach, they are looking forward that these three will work hard to help Ghana in the 2022 World Cup. I've already told you Coach Ogum and other ones will also be added and some of them will not be made public 
for us to know that these are our scars because the way they work you will never get to know some of them so guys these are the latest updates let me know what you think about it on runs for the work on his sofa then on the new scouts joining the blasters of Ghana's team this was kenny tv don't forget to like subscribe put on the bell for more updates here this was kenny tv and of course we shall meet later and subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification bell for more